Hey everyone, it's Sean here, your guide to Warcraft, and today I'm going to be showing you how to obtain the Ganamat's Runed Band. Now, this is one of the five rings that you need in order to obtain this mount, the Hand of Nil Ganamat. I will have links to the other four rings in the description box down below. Now, to start this, you're going to need to find one of these. This is a rift portal inside of Corfia. These have quite a few spawn points all around the zone. If you're lucky, you might find one, or there are a few set places that you can head to. Now, once you find this, you're going to need a repaired rift key to interact with it to enter the kind of the rift version of the moor. Now, you can buy these if you're tier 4 with the researcher in Corfia. If not, like me, you can just get them from looting treasures, killing rares, and if you're lucky enough to get one, you can enter the Rift version. Now, this is uh, how you access some unique NPCs, some rares. It's just a whole other phase. You can return, and you do have 15 minutes. So what that kind of means is the clock is on. Now, you can use the Cypher to return to Venari as quickly as possible. You can only use it in the moor, so you will have to run to the moor, use your Cypher, and then you can head to where you need to go. The idea is to get from Corfia to the moor as quickly as possible, but without, like, leaving Corfia, you do have to run. Now, there is an alternative way to using the Rift Key. If you want to, you can use your very first Rift Key to head to Venari in this phase. Now, she is a little bit south of her refuge at this bridge into the Beast Warrens, and she will give you a daily quest to find Zovol's Vault, which is the Jailer. Now, you can find this chest. It is most often than not, always in the same place down here. Now, when you do get close, it will appear on your map as well as your mini-map, so it's it's going to be tricky to miss. Now, this is quite challenging and time-consuming because what you need to do is you need to click the chest and then you will literally be dragging it back to Venari. Now, I thought, okay, I'll just mount up and drag it. No, it's very slow. If you get too much distance, you will just be stunned. And this version of the moor is filled with elite mobs. Luckily, this one isn't, but there's some very big nasty guys. And you just have to make sure that you get it back before your rift key expires. Now, this is an optional part of this video. You do not have to do this to get your, your ring. It is just something I would advise doing because inside of this vault, you can loot these chaotic rift stones. Now, these create a portal that you can enter regardless of where you are. Like, you can spawn this in front of you. So you can head to the location you want to go to and spawn this, and it will function as a portal for your whole party. So if you want to bring a group, it will help you out. Now, you don't have to do all of that. You can just enter the rift and head straight to these coordinates where you can find a rare called Torgaloon Lord of Shades. Now he is not always up, which is where the 15 minute timer on your rift key comes in because you could be waiting the whole time and he doesn't spawn. Now I used mine here to enter exactly where he spawns and there he is straight away. Now also important, this is a easily soloable rare. You could solo him extremely easy, it's not that difficult. Kill him and you do have a 100% chance to obtain the runed band. This can definitely be one of the more annoying rings to farm just because you can get all the way here or use your rift stones and the rare could not be up or it could have been killed. So there's a bit of, you know, getting lucky with this one. But that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.